I grew up in Cork. I was born in 1963. I was the eldest of what eventually became five. Maybe it was just the way I am, but I was always worried. Like I was always worried about being late or getting into trouble or things going wrong. And like even from the age of about five or six, I was a catastrophist. And I saw other people and they had plans. And I knew I was different from them, but I didn't know how to be like them. I, I didn't know. I moved to London when I was 22 and that actually helped for a while because there was a sense there that like you could be anyone you wanted to be and you could do anything. There was a sense of opportunity and freedom and also at that time I had discovered alcohol which became more and more my, my friend. And because of that, it meant that I never really engaged with life. Whenever I felt anything unpleasant, which was a lot at the time, I sidestepped it by drinking. And so it meant that I remained immature, you know, because I never got the opportunity to, to actually live and evolve through something unpleasant. And living that self-perpetuating life of, of nothing good will ever happen. Any addiction is progressive and, you know, it got worse and worse and worse as my 20s went on. And then there was one Monday morning when I woke up and I just thought, I'm not able to stop, but I can't keep going if I have to keep drinking. And it was one of those, you know, one of those pivotal moments. And, um, and I ended up going into rehab and I still didn't really think, I still didn't really think I was an alcoholic. I just thought that I was very depressed. And then it was just funny while I was there, it just dawned on me, I'm just, I'm just a commoner garden alcoholic and I was full of hope because I saw that anything bad or everything bad that had ever happened to me really had been as a result of my relationship with alcohol and so many lovely things happened quite quickly afterwards like I'd started writing just before I crashed and burned and then after I came out of rehab I continued, I mean, I suddenly realized that this is actually something I love doing. And it's the first time in my life I had ever done anything that I felt really proud of. And I felt I'm good at this. I used to think that the only correct way to live was to be happy all the time. Mm -hmm. And that if I wasn't happy all the time, I was doing something wrong. And I better find out what that was and fix it so I could be restored to that. And now I realize, of course I have rows with people. Of course I get sad news. You know, of course things veer off in the maddest way and, and I can't control them. It's a question of simply acceptance. Acceptance is, is everything. Because in everybody's life, there are things that I cannot fix. I will never be able to fix. And I have to make my peace with that. So living with the stones in my shoe, there will always be stones in everybody's shoe. It doesn't mean that we it doesn't mean that I have to kind of get them out. It means I have to I have to put up with them. Happiness is just one of those emotions. It comes and it goes like everything. For most of 2010 and 2011, I was suicidal. It was just acute clinical depression. I felt like I loved nobody. I felt like I was completely disconnected. And then in early 2014, it just started to lift. It wasn't anything except time. And that is the thing that I really want to say to people. Wait, wait it out. Survival is incredibly mundane and there's no harm in that. You know, there are no magic wands. It's about inching through a day and staying alive sometimes. I like watching telly. You know, I like being at home. I like seeing my nephews and my nieces and my mother. And I like seeing my friends and keeping it all very small. And like, and I've changed how I live. Like I don't work as hard. And I don't, I, you know, I, I don't take as much on because I, I, I know I'm not able and I've, it is so exhausting acting when you feel like dying and I know people are afraid that they'll be judged but I would still 
ask people to ask for help and to know that things pass, everything passes, no matter how bad a person might feel right now. It's not going to be like that always. Hang on. <laughs>